Welcome back, everyone. This is the second Church Tidbits book review. Still focusing on Chris Brown's The Essential Smart Football. If you guys missed episode one, number one, you're missing out. This series is going to take the offseason and dive into some good football text and connect it with current film from the NFL. As always, the link to purchase this book will be in the show notes. And as we say, our work likes to find itself at the intersection of good quality statistics and relentless film study. Getting right into it, we're going to dive into chapter 15, which focuses on Steve Spurrier. Much of the chapter is focused on the main features of Spurrier's offenses, such as lead draws, seven-step drops for quarterbacks in the passing game. The part I want to focus on, though, is near the end of the chapter, with three route concepts Spurrier used to perfection, and we'll see how prevalent they are in today's game. Going to the text, the other reason Spurrier's receivers could get so incredibly wide open and also why his offense literally could not turn off when his teams were drubbing some sacrificial lamb at the swamp, was that he gave his receivers the freedom to adjust their routes on the fly. His favorite play is known in his system as Ralph to the right or Lonnie to the left. Okay, what is a, what is a Lonnie route other than a misnamed character from Animal House? It's a simple route adjustment by X or Z reading the defenders on his side of the field, particularly the cornerback, and if he played off in a, in a cover three type way, the receiver will stop on a curl route. If the corner stays up on him, especially pre-snap, in a cover two type way, he would run the corner route into the turkey hole. That yeah, seems pretty good on paper, especially in Steve Springer's handwriting from back in the day. Let's go to the Eagles this year in week 14 against the Rams and Wade Phillips' defense playing a rare cover two. Trey Burton here is going to run a cornerback and, or sorry, run a corner route, and, and note the depth of the cornerback as he runs the route. Medium level depth, clear cover two, good throw by Wentz. Going back to Week 13 now, same Eagles, this time against the Seattle Seahawks, in a very similar type situation in the red zone. The Seahawks present the Eagles with a with a two deep safety look, pre snap, and what looks like to be Ralph run to the on a corner route from X. But instead, the the cornerback's depth is a little deeper, and Wentz elects the flat route, which Seattle actually makes a nice play on the on the running back. So the question here is: Is this a real Ralph route? Is this a, was there really a sight adjustment made by the X wide receiver, or is it just a simple combo route that the Eagles ran many times this year where the, where the decision is in really purely Wentz's hands, which way to go with the ball? It's really hard to know without being in the huddle. One of the easier ways to know or to find out if it's really a Ralph route is to go to an incompletion. Incompletions, especially those due to quote unquote miscommunications between quarterback and receiver, you can really gain insight there as to what adjustments are being made or what adjustments the quarterback thinks is being or being made. Back in 2015, AJ McCarron is trying to lead his team on a comeback against the Pittsburgh Steelers in the wild card round of the playoffs. Here, a bona fide Ralph route is called by Hugh Jackson and his team, and we see AJ. Or actually, really notice first, before we get there, watch this safety, what he does as right as the ball is being snapped. He goes from a, a, a single deep safety look and cheats over to that kind of cover two look. So the late cover two development, A.J. McCarron picks up on. A.J. Green, however, does not. And he should be running a corner route. Instead, he pulls up on a curl, and McCarron throws the corner. Kind of a dangerous throw, ill-advised allegedly, but really a misread by A.J. Green. What we see here is Ralph lives, but is dangerous and have, have must have both the quarterback and the receiver on the same page. Okay, Brown goes in to describe route combinations as they're related to a 1995 Florida-Tennessee game. The first one was Ralph Lonnie, we just explained. This one, this next one, going to the text, the second was the simple smash pattern against Tennessee's cover two defense, where the outside receiver runs a five-yard hitch and the inside receiver runs a corner route behind him. The same high-low read is with Lonnie, but with the receiver 
receivers' roles switched. Okay. Smash concept. Hasselhoff hot in the NFL this past season. A lot of teams ran it. A lot of different variations. First is going to be the Eagles against the Cardinals in week six, I believe. Trey Burton, again, running a seam fade. And we see a great throw from Carson Wentz. Watch the outside shoulder. Outside shoulder being key. Great location. Excuse me. I don't only watch Eagles film. Don't only watch Trey Burton film. Pat Shermer, when he was in Minnesota, also ran this this play all the time. All the time. Here in the red zone, he dials up Adam Thielen. Running more of a slightly more of a corner route. And note to the return route for the hitch, or what would be the hitch on the right side. It's not always the exact same. A lot of different variations. Let's look at this one roll. Pretty good throw from Case Keenum. Actually wasn't rolled to catch, but good throw. Good, good catch in my mind. Next, uh, next example, we showed two in the red zone. Now we're going outside the red zone. And outside the red zone, the throw has to be pretty precise. And we'll see why here. Deshaun Watson against the Seattle Seahawk defense tries to dial up the seam fade to Deshaun, uh, sorry, to DeAndre Hopkins. And we see in slow motion that deep cover, one safety is now going to start rotating over, trying to get over there. Watson knows he's going to have his guy, maybe rushes the throw a little bit or rushes his motion. Anyway, ball ends up very inside. So inside, it's almost like he's leading the defender. The slot defender, actually, the ball goes through his hands. Hopkins somehow makes the catch. Ends up being a gain, but pretty much an example of what not to do. Uh, so what we've seen here is the smash concept evolve from in Spurrier's days where he, he drew it up as a cover two beater, and it certainly is that, but now it's definitely a cover one beater as well and thrown very often in today's NFL. <clears throat> okay, going back to the text here, Tennessee then tried to switch to cover four or quarters coverage, and Spurrier called his Mills concept, where an outside receiver runs a post route behind an inside receiver that ran an in-breaking route to suck up the safeties. Not too bad if you can hang 62 on a big SEC rival using essentially three pass plays. Okay. The Mills concept, just like Brown said, in, in, the inside right receiver runs a dig, a hitch, a comeback, a curl even, while the outside right re wide receiver runs a deep post. This puts a lot of pressure on the second level defenders, which we'll see next play will be the cover four. This is a cover one with man, a cover one man look, which it's the same middle field safety as a cover three. And usually what ends up happening is he sees this in-breaking route in front of him, and it's very hard to ignore that, especially with the quarterback's eyes looking right down the middle of the field, and the deep safety gets in behind him. That basically happens on this play, as we see. Torrey Smith beats his man, though, too, as well. Really puts a ton of pressure on this guy. And a pretty good throw from Wentz, and ultimately interference uh, led to a very, very, very big play. Okay, next play, San Francisco against the Giants. Uh, what we see here is the San Francisco in 20 personnel, 2-0. Uh, with the more traditional West Coast mills. And what I mean by that is the mirrored hitch or comeback routes on, from both the X and the Y wide receiver. And the key what I, to mention to, to look at here is watch this safety will end up being the inside cover four uh, safety. And watch what happens, the attention that, is, that, that this route draws for him and ultimately leads to a big, big game. Big seam, great throw by the quarterback there, airs it out, awesome route, and ultimately a touchdown for Marquise Goodwin.